Hi there, I'm Wendy from Pumpies, and we're here today to demonstrate the best way to take an overbust measurement. Statistically, over 80% of women are wearing the wrong bra size. Therefore, if you're unsure that the bra that you're currently wearing is the correct size, or if you are in between sizes and want to double check which size of Pumpies to buy, stay tuned. We have Donna helping us today. Hi. Donna is due any day now with her first baby. Yay. It's a little girl. She's due in four days, but she's hoping that she arrives early. So Donna is at a perfect time to be fit for a pumpies. We recommend being at least 36 weeks pregnant or a minimum of two weeks postpartum. So the first thing you want to do is be wearing an appropriate garment for measuring. You just strip right down to your bra or wear a nice close fitting top like Donna has on. If you don't have someone to help you, please do this in front of a mirror because uh, the tape has a tendency to sag in the back and you'll have to check that on your own. Get your measuring tape, or if you don't have one, you can download one from our site just below this video. Wrap the measuring tape around the fullest part of the, of the bust, checking to make sure it's not sagging in the back. It should be parallel to the floor. Pull the tape snugly but keep one finger inside to make sure that you're not constricting the breasts at all. So we've got 38, oh, I think it slipped in the back. We've got 38 and a half, and I always like to measure twice, just to make sure. Oops, wrong end of the tape. So we'll just measure that again. 38 and a half, double check the back, perfect. So Donna measures 38 and a half. If you are in between sizes on both our bra size chart and the overbust chart, we always recommend buying the smaller size. Of course, if you're still stumped as to which size to buy, you can always drop us a line at customercare at snuggabell.com. We love to help. Thanks and we'll see you next time.